Okay, so I'm going to try to install the um, radiator fan. It's a little tricky, but there's actually plenty of room. So all you want to do is take your time and get into uh, a position here. I gotta be especially careful because I don't want to scratch the fresh paint. Okay, so here, here's a different view. And one thing I wanted to point out, I don't know if it's just my car, this is butted against the, uh, the pulley here. But you can see, let me try to zoom in. There's not a whole lot of threads there and I don't like that. So what I did is I went to Ace and I bought these um, stainless steel, these star type of washers and thin nuts. I knew that, uh, that um, the nuts with the uh, vinyl uh, would be too thick. I even bought these, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough threads. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with these and see how they look and make a decision and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I think the uh, thin stainless steel nuts are gonna be just fine for that. And I'm able to get the washer in there. And uh, I think when I tighten it, it's gonna, uh, it's not gonna, you know, push this in any, any farther. I don't think this can be moved anymore, but I think that's gonna give me enough threads to uh, secure the, the belt, not the belt, the, um, the fan um, properly. I don't want the thing to fly out of there. And uh, I may just put a couple of drops of the uh, Loctite, uh, Permatex, whatever this is, thread locker, the blue. So that uh, allows me one day if I need to, to, uh, to remove the, uh, the nuts without having the, uh, the things pull the, um, the studs all the way out. So, and again, at some point I may have to uh, opt for longer studs. I don't know why that is so, so tight, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use a little thread logger and, uh, and that should help. Actually, I'm gonna leave, leave the, uh, the washer in there. See, there's not a lot of, a lot of threads sticking out, so. And I, I really wanna use a washer just for, um, just in case, you know, in addition, in addition to the uh, thread locker. So let me do that next and I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so with the uh, washer in place, I still get enough threads to, um, for the nut to go into the, uh, the stud and the stud is, is right there at the very edge. So at least I get whatever this is, three, three good threads in there and it tightens very well. By the way, these are uh, 5 sixteenths and uh, the outside is half an inch. Um, so what I do here is I just put a, a few
or something else. All right, All right so everything is fastened and uh, ready to go, I hope. And before I reinstall everything, I'm gonna stutter up and uh, see what happens. Oh, and by the way, all the, yeah, both the uh, bolts that hold the clutch, the fan clutch, um, and the uh, the ones that attach to the pulley are, are all um, half inch, just in case you were wondering. Now, like I said, I put the uh, star, whatever you call them, star washers, lock washers, and I have regular split lock washers for the, uh, for the bolts that secure the clutch. So one more time, I'm just gonna go over to make sure that everything is okay. I think it is. And then I'm gonna start reassembling the, uh, the air cleaner assembly, the whole thing. And by the way, I really like how the, uh, what is, what's it called, the um, ERP, vinyl rubber, and uh, plastic, that uh, conditioner from, um, what's it called, Chemical Guys? Yeah. Um, that stuff looks really, really good when you, when you, you know, apply it on, on rubber hoses. I mean, look at this thing, it looks beautiful. And I even applied it to the, uh, to the shroud. I waxed this, you know, I'd say it's sexual protection, you know, it doesn't cost me anything, so I just, Clean that the best I could. There still are a few little leaves and branches not in there. I can't get my hand in there, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But it's looking pretty, pretty darn good. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, so next up is the um, air intake uh, duct. This big piece that wraps around this cross member here. It's the top of the, it's the top of the radiator support. I think this is cured enough for me to handle. So again, this one is split here and
polls should line up. And there's four small boats that are used to secure it. Small flex duct. Just six apps in there, like so. Alrighty, next at the air cleaner assembly. And this one needs no explanation, of course. first. We have that crank ventilation with a little filter. Everything is clean. Still using this is very clean even though it has several thousand miles. It's just in fine condition. And of course we cap it off with the uh, with a lid. This one for whatever reason I just noticed there's a little bubble here. I guess there was some contamination in the uh, powder coating is starting to lift a little bit so just have to keep an eye on it. Some prefer the uh, kind of the open air element. I don't care for that. I really like the way the uh, factory stuff looks. It's just a personal preference. I also believe that it, if it was engineered this way, it'll it'll have better uh, airflow this way. Oh. Another 
hot in here in Florida. Anyway, guys, there you have it. Everything looks really, really good. Including, of course, the uh, the, the uh, radiator fan. We go to the other side. Sort of this is kind of balancing. I'm, I film all of this stuff with my um, with my phone. So. Much nicer. And uh, I'm gonna make sure that all the all the hoses, I think everything is really connected and, and ready to go. I look at that so much better. Alrighty guys. Well thanks for, for watching my, my little video of whatever um <laughs> refurbishment, if you would, of the uh, radiator fan. And, uh, wow, I guess we're gonna have some weather pretty, pretty soon. Yeah, it's been raining quite a bit. So, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.